Welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about how to communicate Ignition SCADA with Siemens PLC S7-1200. So I'm going to explain you the structure, the communication structure of the PLC and the SCADA. So SCADA, if you know, SCADA is a software which we install in our computer. So if this is our computer, in this computer we have installed the SCADA software. And the SCADA software, in the SCADA software, you will find an OPC US server, which we have to configure. Now the function of OPC US server is to communicate with the external devices which are our PLC. So these are our PLC. So these PLC will send the information to the OPC US server which we will access in our computer. Or we can access in the visual dashboard of Ignition SCADA. So how to do that? How to take the information from the PLC? What are the syntax of the tags? And what are the steps involved? How to make an OPC US server? This is all about in this course. All right, so let me explain you about the structure which we have here. So I'm using a computer and in this computer I have an Ethernet card which is having an IP address of 192.168.1.106 and this IP address having a subnet of 255.255.255.0 uh, and to confirm that I can show you in my network connection and in my network connection this is my Ethernet card and if I go to its properties maybe if it's Okay, this is automatically assigned, but I can show you that in my command prompt. So I will type IP config, and here you can see that's my IP address 192.168.1.106, and that's the subnet, and that's the gateway. This is very important when we are going to configure the PLCs in our device. So you have to note down what is the subnet, subnet mask, and the network of your computer. So I'm using this 192.168.1.106 for my Ethernet card. And for my PLCs, I've assigned the IP address 192.168.1.100 and 1.107. So I'm using two PLCs. And this I can confirm you from my TIA portal window, if you see here. It's 192.168.1.100, another PLC is 1.107. Alright, so these two PLCs are connected to my Ethernet card already. Okay. And then we have to create an OPC US server in this Ignition SCADA. And then we can fetch the addresses. So that we will see in the further videos. So the first step is if you don't have Ignition SCADA software, you can download from the website. So you can go to inductiveautomation.com slash downloads or when you open this website, you will see the button here. So once you click this button, you will get to this page. And here you can download the software for Windows. And if you download the software, it will be a direct download and it's about 800 megabytes. So once you install the Ignition software, it's very easy. Just it's an exe file. You just have to open it and it will do some self-installation. And once it's completed, what you have to do is you have to open a new tab in your browser and you have to type local host and use the port 8088. And this is a default port of Ignition. So when I enter this, I will come to this main screen. All right, and this is a trial software for two hours. You can see there is a timer here. So after every two hours, you have to reset the software. Then you can use it again because it's for free. So it's for trial versions. So once you install the software, once you have this screen, this is the main screen. It means your installation is successful. All right. And yeah, this is about how you can install the Ignition software and the basic structure which we are going to learn. We have a PLC in the field which is linked to our Ethernet card of my desktop computer. And the computer, I have a Scala software installed. These two, I'll come to these specific blocks in the further videos. But the first step is just install the software using download Ignition button on the Ignition website. All right. In the next video, I will show you how to deal with how to deal with this screen what should we go what should we do in the status how to connect the opc connection that we'll see in the next video all right so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video